All spin right. It, spin it, spin it, spin so it, spin it. So due to our very popular ab roller video, we've uh, decided to do a part two for you guys here. At the end of this video, we're going to give you guys some tips uh, over on the whiteboard to make sure you guys write that down for those of you guys who want because this is probably one of the more technical ab exercises that we're going to do. So Sal, take it away. What this we is it. Um, so the first video was how to use an ab wheel properly, but we really just focused on the abs. And we got a lot of messages from people on how to use the ab wheel for the obliques. Now, uh, truth be told, this is a, a difficult exercise. If you're strong in your core, fantastic. If you're not very strong in your core, you may want to start with some easier exercises. Uh, a lot of the mistakes we see people make with this is because they're not strong enough to do this properly. So let's do the demo. Let's get down the position. Okay, so first and foremost, when we get in this, this position here, I'm on my knees, feet on the floor, and before I begin my rollout, I want to make sure to crunch my abs and tuck my tailbone. See how you did that? He sucked that in right there, like he sucked his belly button in, like he's drawing a string straight up. Also, what he does, as you can see, he takes his pelvic and he kind of rotates in so his butt right. is squeezed. So, so I'm not here, right? I'm here. Right. And this, this is, is very key. important because if I go like this and I go out, what happens is the abs stabilize. Yeah, you're stabilizing your spine, but you're not contracting those abs to the fullest. No, and, I'm, and, and my hip flexors end up doing a lot, of the, a lot of the movement. This is why people, when they do this exercise, and they, most people do it wrong, they end up hurting their back or they feel it in their back because the hip flexors actually attach uh, at the spine. So tuck the tailbone. Nice tight crutch. Now, with a normal rollout, you're gonna go straight out and pull up and crunch. But when we wanna hit the obliques, we wanna go out to the side a little bit. Remember, the obliques rotate the body and they also crunch the body to the side. So in order to do that, I'm not gonna go straight out. I'm gonna come out and turn out to the side and suck right back in and squeeze. And a good thing to do would be to alternate. So you can go on the same side, rep after rep, and then switch. I personally like to rotate to, to go back and forth, so now I'm gonna go off to the left. Turn out, squeeze, and pull up. Now it's important when you're pulling up with this with this particular movement that I'm not just sucking back with my knees. I'm got that tight core and I'm crunching up as if someone were pulling me up by my lower back. So if I do the straight, you can see I come up like this versus... And your hips aren't piking way up yeah. to pull yourself in, in a hinge position. Exactly, versus coming up, coming back with this kind of hip flexor position. So again, tight core, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the abs. I'm gonna roll out. Right when I get out about maybe 20 inches or so, now I start to turn the wheel. I come out, I should feel, when you're in this position here, you should feel length in this side of your body. That's the side that I'll be working when I go out to the right here and then I pull up and squeeze and then alternate. So now a lot of people ask us how many repetitions are you going to do for a movement like this and it really depends on the person. Some of you one or two times on each side is probably going to be really challenging. I mean you could tell how challenging this is for Sal and you have a very strong core. Now to do this properly it's a, it's a difficult exercise. There's a lot of resistance. It's your body weight and you're supporting yourself with your arms. So even when I do these I typically don't go over 10 to 12 reps. So, you know, for some of you out there who aren't super, super strong, just like Adam said, a couple reps and you're set. Now, the tips that we kind of went over, right over here. Here's your three tips here. Tuck your tailbone, crunch very hard, reach out evenly. That means the whole body is coming out. You're not just reaching out with your arms. And pull up rather than simply pulling back. And there you have it. Those are your three tips for ab wheel exercise for your obliques. Listen, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll get a new video every single day. That's what we do here, is we provide videos every single day. Also, go to mindpumpmedia.com. We have the link actually on the video. Uh, free 30 days of coaching, it's still available.